everyone. Welcome to the Knitting Turnpike. Today I'm going to be talking about three different decrease stitches, but they're all kind of the same, based on the same variation. Today we're going to be talking about the SKP, which is the slip knit past the slip stitch over, or and the SK2 PSSO, which is the slip one stitch, knit two together, past the slip stitch over or the slip two, knit one, pass the two slip, two slip stitches over the knitted stitch. They're all the same variation where you're passing a slipped stitch over some type of knitted stitches. Very different variations of the same decreased stitch. I was doing some other stuff with this swatch. Give me one second to straighten that stitch out. If you ever have like had to re undo your stitch your knitting and you um you want to make sure that this leg here is, it's, you can always tell that it's oriented correctly. I can, because this leg is always first. This right leg is always to the front. If it's not, it just looks off. You can see it was like this before I fixed it. The, the left leg was to the front, and you can see that just doesn't look right. So all I did was I just twisted it the right way where the right leg's in front, and here we go. Now we can get back on to knitting. So the first slip, I'm, the first decrease stitch I'm going to do is called the slip, knit, pass the slip stitch over. First thing you want to do is you want to slip your stitch. You want to slip it knitwise, which means there might be different variations of it. To, if it says slip the stitch knitwise, you're going to pretend like you're going to knit the stitch. Insert your knitting needle in from the left to the right through the front. And then you just slip the stitch right off the knitting needle onto your left hand needle without knitting it. You just insert it and slip it. That's all there is to slipping the stitch. Now there might be written into the pattern. Some people will say slip the stitch purlwise. If you're going to do that, you would insert your right hand needle as if you were going to purl the stitch and then just pull the stitch off of the um, left hand needle. That's purlwise. Knitwise. Pearlwise. It depends on what the designer may want to do with the pattern. They may want the stitches twisted a different way. So, you know, if there's not any um, instructions, most of the time it's usually just slip it knitwise. Um, okay, so first thing you want to do, back to the SKP. Slip your stitch, then knit the next stitch. And then you take the slip stitch, insert your left hand needle into it. I usually hold hold on to my working yarn, which kind of secures that knitted stitch, and slide the slip stitch over the knit stitch. And you decrease your stitch count by one by doing this. And that's what it looks like. It leans to the left. I'll do it again. Slip the first stitch knitwise knit the stitch then you pass the slip stitch over the knitted stitch that's all there is to it okay now another variation of this decrease stitch except that you're going to um i have to think about that hold on before i say that it's called it, this stitch is called the sk2p which means you're going to slip one stitch knit two stitches together, then pass your slip stitch over your knitted two stitches. Okay, so it looks like this. You slip the first stitch knitwise, then you're going to knit two stitches together. So you insert your needle into the next two stitches, knit them together, and then you're going to take that slip stitch and pass it over the knitted two together. Again, it looks like it's it's leaning to the left, but the, the great thing about this stitch is you've just decreased your stitch count by two. This one decreases it by one, but this one decreases it by two because you lost a stitch when you knit two together, and then by slipping the stitch, you lost another stitch. So the SK2P decreases your stitch count by two. Okay, so let me show that stitch again. This is the SK2P. You slip your stitch knitwise, knit two stitches together, and then you pass your slip stitch over the knit two. That's all there is to it. 
All right, now there's another variation to this same type of decrease stitch, which is called the S2KP. S2KP. This one's different in that you slip two stitches together on this one. You, you insert your needle, knitting needle from right to left in the front uh, into two stitches. Then you slip them both off of the, off of the um, left hand needle so it looks like that. Then you knit the next stitch, just one stitch. You knit it and then you're going to slip both of these two stitches at the same time. So I hold on, again I hold on to that to kind of keep my knitted stitches in place. Pull these two slip stitches over and it, that's what it looks like. And so there's no lean to this one at all, but you had decreased your stitch count by two on that one as well. So see, that's, that's the great thing about doing these. That's why a designer would want to do them is if you don't want it to lean to the left, you would do this one where you just have a straight centered, centered stitch. Okay, this was the S2KP. Let me do it again. You slip your, you slip two stitches as if to knit them at the same time. They look like that. Then you knit the next stitch. And then you pass both of those slip stitches together at the same time over your knitted stitch. Let me do it again. You slip two stitches together as if to knit. Knit the next stitch and pass both of those slip stitches over your knitted stitch. And that's what it looks like. It's all centered up, centered, lined up. Okay, that's um, three different variations of the uh, slip stitches um, for decreases. Um, I hope um, you've enjoyed watching this video. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you've enjoyed it, please uh, give me a thumbs up. I would really appreciate that. Um, or if you have questions, please don't hesitate to list them in the comments below. Um, thank you again for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day full of God's blessings.